Good morning and welcome to my channel. This is Joe's Astrology and we, today we have a Venus-Neptune conjunction coming closer and closer. And I have known one person personally who has had Venus-Neptune and I was very close with this person. He had Venus-Neptune in the second house in Sagittarius. And the, the general description you'll see with Venus and Neptune is very inspirational, uh, musically talented, artistic. And while that can be the case, this person in my experience, who I knew very, very well, um, I would say he's very inspirational. Uh, not very, uh, he, I mean, of course, enjoyed music and, and had an appreciation for art. And he was art artistic in his own way, that's for sure. Um, but it was in the second house, and he did have a fascination with making money. I mean, of course, he had some other uh, things in the chart for that, um, being a businessman, a, a buyer, a buyer, a seller. It wasn't. It wasn't Sagittarius, and. Uh, he was definitely inspirational when it came to making money. He was inspired by things, material things. Uh, this person was definitely in the consensus, maybe uh, individuated uh, as well, um, in the individuated consciousness. And he also um, he also had a uh, very he was very, very empathetic. He would definitely take care of you. Uh, he might not understand, but it didn't matter. Uh, it didn't matter if he understood the situation. If you needed help, this guy he would be um, he would be there to help you as best he can. Um, and he was he was also an employer, so he was. Uh, I would say he's probably one of the best persons that I've ever had to work for. Is for what you know for what he was capable of um, and I want to tell another story um, you know also with Venus and Neptune it's associated with popularly associated with romance and this can be a very uh, romantic time for people I mean despite Saturn being there in Pisces and that may not be the worst thing and I'll tell you why I'll tell you a couple couple stories a couple years ago we had Venus and Neptune conjunct and Jupiter was there as well Saturn was in Aquarius and I had a um, personally had a very inspirational and dreamy romantic encounter that was exactly that from my standpoint it was more Saturnian it had more uh, Saturn involved in that I thought it was going to be more long term. It turned out not from their stamp from their standpoint. It was more of a dream and a fantasy, and um, I think that's part of the reason why it didn't it didn't go anywhere. Is just you know it takes two to tango. So with this with this aspect, uh, I would definitely keep that in mind. You can have one person who really sees it as a fantasy, and it's some. Um, uh, very dreamy fleeting thing that comes and goes where the other person may see it as a long-term maybe like their lifelong fantasy or may not even see it as being um, that inspirational or that much of a fantasy it could just be more par for the course for them uh, but another during that time another experience I had was I, I was having some health issues uh, at the time that were still flaring up and I was driving lo over a long distance and uh, and I had stopped and everything was going fine uh, really feeling that Venus Neptune uh, transit and really really feeling that experience um, and all of a sudden it, it came on to me. I was feeling very sick, very nauseous. I guess is the word. I was feeling very nauseous, and I had to pull over. And what do you know? I pulled over on Neptune Drive, 
and I looked up and there was a sign, you know, Neptune Drive or Neptune Road. And I pulled over for about half hour, 45 minutes, very nauseous, went into a store, used the bathroom, came back out, and I thought I was going to have to turn around and, and go back home. And after about an hour, I started to feel better and continued on my trip. But I thought that was interesting because with that feeling of being nauseous and with the Venus Neptune, uh, Venus Neptune transit going on, and here I am pulling over on Neptune Neptune Drive. Now, of course, I mentioned that to people, to some people, and they think, what's the big deal? There's nothing to it. I think at the time I had a therapist, and I mentioned it to her, and she, one of the many times I mentioned these synchronicities, and she had thought nothing of it, like it wasn't even a big deal. Um, also, of course, with Neptune involved, there is a love of the sea. And the ocean and I consistently this consistently comes up for me uh, I definitely could see myself living near the ocean but I will say with that like with me there is that disillusionment involved when um, like I, another story I knew someone with it well she had a Pisces very heavy Pisces person and she moved um, she was working as a um, Someone who helps, um, I don't know what the word is, special needs. She was working as a special needs teacher, which definitely correlates with Pisces. And then she was basically disillusioned by that and more so disillusioned with the school system. And she had quit, saved her money, quit, and moved in with her brother down south in um, at the beach. And, you know, had that opportunity to, with her brother being there and, um, Hopefully, I'm not. Sure. I don't keep up with her, but hopefully, it worked out for. Her. But you can see that Neptune pulling her to to move towards the sea. Also, you can see the idea of being a special needs teacher with Neptune involved. And you can kind of see how they um, how it plays out in two different ways there in in the person's chart. Um, and people also with these transit may, you know, they may see that life. You know, they may think that life, especially if you have this in your chart, uh, these kinds of Neptune conjunctions in your chart, you may think that life is this way all the time, or you may desire it to be this way all the time, and you may find out through your life that striving for that, to, you may have to really strive for that to be, because it life isn't that way all the time. And that many people are unaware of astrology and and... Um, you know, with this knowledge of astrology, you can really see that this poetic, inspirational, dreamy uh, feeling may not always be there. Uh, maybe, maybe they're more so with people, like I mentioned, who have Venus-Neptune conjunction in their natal chart. Um, but it's definitely stronger at times, and there is um, there is a time for it. And there, of course, as we know, there's a time for other feelings and expressions of life as well. Let's see what else, if there's anything else we can see today. We have the Jupiter moving towards Uranus conjunction, which I'm going to talk about as well in the next couple of days. We have Moon and Capricorn. Kind of like what I was saying with, you know, with these energies and then we have Moon and Capricorn. It would definitely be better if we had Moon in Pisces, or Moon in Sagittarius, or Moon in a water, uh, another water sign, or even Libra. We also still have Mars. Mars make, gonna make a conjunction with Saturn in Pisces, so that's gonna definitely affect this as well, and not make it as ideal as it, as we may. Our situation may not be as ideal as we would like it to be during this time. I think I'll leave it at that. If you have any stories, some Neptune stories, Venus Neptune stories, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, and any comments you may have regarding Venus Neptune or stories you may have, uh, I would love to hear them. I'm sure the, anyone watching these videos would love to hear them. It's the best way to learn astrology. And hope you find this video uh, helps you, and I hope you have a great day.